Breaking news today, World War III, Russian aircraft intercept Israeli fighter jets over Libyan capital, Russian Su-34 aircraft intercepted Israeli F-16 fighter jets over Tripoli airspace despite a mechanism to avoid conflicts between Moscow and Jerusalem, it has been reported. Reports including Israeli, Lebanese, and Russian media outlets claim two Israeli Air Force F-16 planes were challenged by Sukhoi Su-34 jets over Libya. Video circulated of Russian planes flying over Lebanon but the clip did not show any Israeli jets. However, Moscow denied the allegations and said it does not conduct missions in Lebanese airspace. The Russian Defense Ministry said, the information spread by one of the Israeli news outlets about an alleged interception of two Israeli F-16s by a Russian Su-34 in Lebanese airspace is amateur nonsense. The Su-34 multi-role bombers, which belong to the Russian air group in Syria, are not used for flights to intercept aerial targets and do not perform tasks in the airspace of Lebanon. The Russian planes may have been taking part in drills off the coast of Lebanon and Syria but had to land because of bad weather conditions, according to media reports. Russia and Israel established a mechanism to prevent conflicts and potentially disastrous mistakes in 2015. This was at the time when Russia began its military campaign in Syria at the request of President Bashar al-Assad. But the system is limited according to Israeli Air Force Commander Amikam Norkin. He claims Israel does not inform the Russian side about its planned airstrikes in Syria and the same goes for the Russians. Israel has increased its airstrikes in Syria against what it claims to be Iranian military targets. Many of Israel's attacks in Syria have been launched from Lebanese airspace. Israeli Air Force Commander Amikam Norkin revealed last week that an Israeli F 35 fighter jet conducted airstrikes on at least two occasions. This could be a further provocation as Iran, Syria, and Russia are allies in the Syrian civil war. Tehran denies any extensive military presence on the ground in Syria and said its contingent is limited to military advisors in the country and is there to assist in the fight against terrorism. Iran's military presence, like Russia's, has the approval of Syria's government. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.